You guys gonna be with me? Hey guys, Sam here. You join me at the Silverstone Formula One Grand Prix. I mean, I'm so buzzing for this. I mean, check out the atmosphere. It's building up. It's be great. I'm here in my golf bar. Let me take you around the three days and let's enjoy this. But yeah, let's get straight into this one. BMW M2, looking awesome. Cool looking Tesla. Oh, check this out. Focus RS edition. This is pretty awesome. Um, Follow this guy on Instagram, whoever he is. There he is. Awesome looking piece of kit. Mound tune as well. 380 horsepower. What a car that is. How cool is that? How cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Now this is a pretty special view. If you can see it through the fence. Look at that. I love it. It's so great to see people back. So, so great. I'm literally just buzzing here. <laughs> It's amazing it's such a sunny day as well which is not like the uk um yeah it's just amazing that's an interesting new format here for this weekend the silverstone formula one um and i guess we're going to see what it's like you know qualifying today on the friday so you get a little bit more for your money and yeah i'll take you through it and yeah try and give you an impression if it's worth it and um yeah i'm just so happy to be here to be fair to be back it's really really great food 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 much more elegant silks than now has been in the past. Check out these. No shortage of ice cream fans. A chilled atmosphere, so so nice, so so nice here. Wow, what a day! What a day to have off work! Eh? <laughs> Hopefully, I can take you along for the journey. Hopefully, you can hear me. Some amazing sounding V8s, amazing. V8s, they sound so, so good. Fortunately, the F1 cars aren't quite the same. Those familiar with my channel know I'm obsessed with Porsche. <laughs> Porsche Silverstone just around the corner. Let's head over there. A couple of cool looking Taycans. If you are interested, the, um, the racetrack for Port Silverstone converts into a helipad just at the back. So yeah, driving around this last week, which I really enjoyed. And now, helipad. Anything Porsche I'm just obsessed with. Check it out. Amazing to see people again. Now forgive me, because this is like my first kind of vlogging type thing that I've done on the channel. So if it's all wrong, just give me some time and let me know. <laughs> Of course, I had to come back here to the Porsche Silverstone Experience Centre. Looks like they've got a 992 GT3 out front, so let's check that out. It's like the coolest place. Yeah, as you can see here, the 992 911 GT3, which looked really, really cool. But the whole idea of the vlog was just to kind of bring you along for the Friday session. Um, I think it's really cool with the new format that they had. Um, I'm actually recording this just before um, Saturday's practice. Um, it's about 11 o'clock here, UK time, and I think practice starts at 12. So I'm going to watch practice, watch the sprint race on the Saturday and then obviously the race on the Sunday and I'll feed back in a future video just to show you lot what it's all like and you know what to expect. But yeah I would thoroughly recommend obviously going along. I'm obviously obsessed with Porsche as you can see me kind of going through these kind of cars. Um, but yeah there's basically what I did is I walked around the entire circuit early on in the morning. Um, I felt that was kind of like the right thing to do while it was not as hot and sunny. You can see me there. <laughs> um, 
yeah and just to enjoy the day and also just to show you though is it worth it is you like you know is it worth you coming along bringing your family and all that kind of stuff for me it definitely is an experience to sort of enjoy um there are stuff to do is i mean I'm not gonna lie to walk around the entire track takes a lot of time so to see all these kind of things that i saw you have to kind of yeah pick your place um i was mainly situated up at club corner to watch the f1 cars so and you'll amazing, and you'll too. get to hear the sound you can see i'm sort of amazed by this car um the sounds of the F1 cars and you'll get to see it and yeah hopefully experience it so yeah let's let's continue on with the vlog Taycan's make no noise at all So if you enjoyed the noise of those Formula 2 cars and the Formula 3 cars, I believe they have 3.4 litre or 3.4 litre V6s and they sound better than the F1 cars, I'll be honest. Now this is like a Praga car, it looks really cool, I love the intricacy of it. This is actually like at the University of Silverstone where they have some really cool projects, they tend to get kids involved, like there was kids building Lego inside, um, yeah and they have a few models on display so I thought I'd kind of show that and include it in the vlog. Um, yeah, I thought this looked pretty special. I mean, check out the diffuser, the slick tyres. It, it looks pretty amazing. Um, and then I went further inside and there was a Lego Technic sort of Lamborghini Cyan. I mean, that, that looks amazing. And a little Lego man as well to kind of add to it. Um, with plenty of likes on Instagram by the looks of it. And again, 6 litre V12 Aston Martin engine just sort of plonked around next to a bin. So if you want to see what a 12 cylinder engine looked like, there it is. There's also a Tesla police car there. And there was also a tank there as well. The Tesla police car, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about electric. That's <laughs> for another day. Um, but yeah, you know, everything kind of going on. You know, if you like your history, you can kind of know about a bit about this tank. And they also had these called Poseidon AMG GTR and the A45S. Um, yeah, it, it was tuned up. The, the A45S, I believe, was over 500, well, it says it there, 525 play course power, A45RS. And they also had the stats on them as well. The AMG GTR was sort of like 830 horsepower. Um, it was all sort of written in front, so you can kind of see it there. Um, yeah, so that was quite cool, just on display bit of a tuning company there to show you what these two cars are like um, yeah looks pretty cool um, they had loads of stands you can buy loads of merchandise lots of support for Lando Norris um, given what happened last weekend with him getting mugged at Wembley um, this was like the events area you had the old F1 circuit which is now occupied by bins instead of Formula One cars um, and then going through you've got the Formula One car in person I just love the details of it it's good to get up close and personal obviously this is sort of like general admission access so you don't really get sort of VIP sort of right in the middle of it um, you just sort of round the whole outskirts of the circuit and um, yeah it's cool to see you know the design you know these are multi-million billion pound cars and they're designed to go so fast around the corners and I hope you get that impression later on in this video um, Silverstone also do a driving experience. I have driven this exact car on my channel. Please check it out from the link above. I'd thoroughly recommend it for again about 100, 150 pounds to drive it. I think it's good. F430 was actually my first video on this YouTube channel, which I've driven down um, 4.3 litre V8, I believe in that. Such a good experience. And that's the thing. That's what I try to hopefully promote on this channel, getting involved in the experience and 
hopefully you enjoy that and you can see it and sort of try it out for yourself. M2 competition, which you can also drive. I drove the manual, but I drove it for such a short amount of time. Um, this one was a DCT. I would like to try it again, to be fair, because I want to get to understand the M2 competition a little bit more. Um, actually, at this current time, my friend is interested in getting one, so it'd be good to try one out and let, let him know my thoughts, actually. Um, there was also this Formula Silverstone car, which I've also shown on my channel. Um, so, you know, check back on content. I've got plenty of content on here. And it's all events that I would recommend just to sort of enjoy the experience. That's kind of what it's all about. Um, again, another Formula 1 car. This one, I don't know if it was a 2022 car, but it was certainly like a Golf liveried McLaren. Um, yeah, it was a lot bigger than the other ones, so I don't know if it had the bigger wheels. And yeah, it just looked huge. Maybe it was the 2022 car, I couldn't tell. But this was the coolest part, going through some of the owner's cars, which are sort of like in the exclusive area. Um, this is actually Archie Hamilton's car. Um, yeah, I mean, it just looks stunning. I don't know if this is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. I think it is. But, I mean, check that out. Uh, I, I, I Honestly, if it was the only car people were going to. Out of all the cars there, people were checking out this purple Lamborghini. Um, parked up next to it was Paul Wallace's um, AMG GTR as well. Another, obviously, large automotive YouTuber. If you're familiar with the automotive YouTube world, um, his car was a little bit dirty. <coughs> and certainly didn't stand out as much, um, to be honest with you. And then there was just so many cool cars. And the, you know, 911 Carrera 4S, and then there was a, you know, Ferrari F12, and, you know, the Crema interior. It looked so, so cool. And that, that's what I love. I love checking out some of the owner's cars sort of actually being used. Um, the 911 Carrera 4 GTS, I think the ultimate, ultimate all round car in grey. Um, I've driven the GTS, the rear wheel drive version in manual, I thought that was cool. M5 Competition was there, M140i, the old shape, a Jaguar F um, pace, F type, sorry, M135i, you can see a Porsche in the background there. Um, it's just, it's just incredible. And you've got a Ferrari 550, I mean that's pretty special. Another Porsche, 992, and then you had a Project 8, a Jaguar, uh, you know, Project 8, it's like incredible. You know, 150 grand new, 5 litre V8 in just a normal saloon. <laughs> um, I, I just think that's amazing. I've never seen one sort of in person, actually. Um, I can't remember. This one actually had the rear wing delete, um, which looked pretty cool. Um, and you could just see again, looking at the intricacies of the whole car. And, you know, if it wasn't in orange, you probably wouldn't even recognise it. Um, Aston Martin, Porsche, um, a McLaren 600 LT. You can see a Porsche there as well in the background, but the 600 TLT had little, little like special decals on it as well. Obviously, the owners kind of put that on. Um, yeah, just sort of parked up in this field. Four litre Cayman GTS, big fan of the naturally aspirated Cayman, probably the last one that they're going to do, to be fair. Um, and yeah, that looks pretty special. Uh, 911 Speedster, they're stupidly rare. They're just sort of parked up. Lots of M440i's, BMWs, another Lamborghini Evo in orange on the m440i's actually i think bmw are doing quite a lot of deals because i have spoken to my, a lot of owners have gone from golf r's to um, um those 440i's so you know a good alternative to an m4 bentley shown there another m440i another porsche another porsche there golf gti where would my channel be without getting some sort of more vw golf content on it just a standard gti but yeah, looking good, and then a Porsche, and then ending with an old shape A45. So that was kind of the whole going through the cars. Now I'm just going to let you immerse yourself, listen to the cars, listen to the crowd, and I hope you enjoy it.